That was like, we couldn't have scripted that, man. We start talking to this ladies here with our kids, and they're like, tell them what's going on, and her kids start talking too. <laughs> That's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, go ahead and talk. The mom started doing outreach, telling people about it. Like, yeah, they're trying to put good. these guys in jail. Hi, I'm Kate Ager. I'm outside of the Manchester District Court. Um, I just finished my trial. Um, the charge of unsworn falsification was dropped with no objection from the state. They did not make a case for it. Um, the other matters have been taken under advisement. I feel like I did a pretty good job considering that I was nervous and was unsure of some parts of it. Um, Sergeant Mucci claimed that I was part of an organization, though he could not state what organization I was a part of, and claimed that that assumption was based solely off of the standing in the vicinity of the protests that happened on June 4th. But the verdict should be returned within a week or two. We'll see where it goes from there. So what are the potential? What's the worst and best case scenario? Um, the worst case scenario is I could be found guilty of all three charges which are all Class A misdemeanors, which hold jail time or fines of up to $1,200, uh, probation or house arrest. Uh, best case scenario is that I was found not guilty of them, but I have a feeling it's going to be somewhere in between. How do you feel, uh, now it's said and done, your day in court, I guess, like you did a lot of preparation, we feel, feel pretty confident. It was you feel pretty smooth? Do you feel better afterwards? Or? Um, I feel like my preparation was very helpful, although as I was going, I noticed things that were irrelevant and there was no point of asking. So kind of just had to get used to going where the officer took the story. Do you have any uh, recommendations for folks who may find themselves similarly threatened? Yeah. Stand up for what you believe is right.